the Persian and the poet. The Salamati. Salamati. <laughs> Good. The fingers of a willow drape towards the ground like flaccid post-coital fingers over the edge of a queen bed. They are your fingers. Swifts dart and dive between the willow's slender feminine fingers. These swifts are the fleeting feathered forms of the love I have for you, I give to you, I make with you. Wind muscled, the willow fingers of your heart are forever too slow to ever catch or truly grasp my swift love for you. انگشتان افراخته بید مجنون فروهشته بر زمین انگشتان توست آبیخت از تخت از پس رخبت هماغوشی باد خورک ها تیز و شتابان در تکاپو میان انگشتان خمیده بید پرندگانی اند از اشکال موجز آشغانه های من برای تو با تو به عشق بازی تو و در استیلای ناگسیخته باد بید مجنون در تقلای گرفتن تمامیت عشق عشق برای من به تو برای تو قبل از اینکه تموم کنم یعنی شعر تموم شد یه نکته رو بگم اینجا بادخورک کلمه بادخورک اسم در واقع این بادخورک و سویفت در انگلیسی معادلش بادخورکه یا همون یه نوعی پرستوه که پشت سفیدی داره فقط خواستم اینو بگم که بادخورک براتون اگه سوی تفاهم ایجاد کرد بدونین Thank you so much guys Yeah. Mm. So what were you explaining there? You were talking about the swift, the bird, were yeah, you? Yeah, the swift, the bird, actually in Farsi has got a really interesting name, mm. which is bot khorak. And it means? Wind eater. Wind eater. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think because they, I'm not sure, but I think mm. because they're so fast and mm. like probably, but mm. I, mm. I haven't, I didn't know that either. So today when I came across to that name, mm. I'm like, okay, but I have to explain it because but Khorak is not something we really, or even I, in my case, I didn't know that at least so. I know you enjoy the process because mm-hmm. I know you sort of really learn from it and you go, oh, that's, you know, you actually get more meaning out of it. Um, but it was pretty hard, this one, for you, wasn't it? Because <laughs> you were pretty frustrated with it. Yeah, I was. But because I'm always behind, I'm, I'm not an on-time person. I <laughs> always do the things like a two minutes before. Yeah, right. So yeah. I had a plan three months ago <laughs> when right. I finished the first semester to start <laughs> translating poems yeah. of Cameron, like yeah. more. But I didn't do that. And then we moved and I, I always yeah. had the excuse. So, I know, I know. Uh, but, you know, I did it today. That was that wasn't frustra- that a bit frust- frustrating yeah. in the way of like... I I knew what he gonna say, but I didn't. I couldn't put it in the words in Farsi, yeah, right. and that was so frustrating. And I was trying to do that. I'm mm. like, I know what are you saying, but <laughs> I cannot put it together in Farsi. That yeah. was like, I mm. want to do that, but in the end of the day, I think mm. I don't know. You tell me, guys, um, <laughs> if you like the translation or not, and mm. because. You know, swift in English has got two meanings. Exactly, A yeah. bird, swift as a bird, and swift as like just someone being, be or just fast, being fast. Fast, yeah. yeah. Mm. But in Farsi, we don't have that thing. So sometimes mm. when Cameron play with the words, has got different meanings, a few meanings in mm. English, and um, mm. that kind of playing, it does help him for his poetry. 
yeah. because it sounds really nice in English uh, and kind mm. of like confusion, not confusion, conflict mm. kind of thing. Mm. But uh, I cannot do that in Farsi and mm. I don't want to take the beauty of the poem because mm. I cannot find the, you know, we don't have it just yeah, like that's for right. some poems. But yeah. some poems, they just put together really properly and perfectly and it's so satisfying but uh, yeah but anyway as mm. if we, we i really want to publish these uh, poems in farsi and mm. i will go through all of them and do the final editing for sure because mm. the yeah, final edit of the poems yeah yeah پر کن پیاله را که این آب آتشین دیریست ره به حال خرابم نمی برد. این جام ها که در پی هم می شود توهی دریای آتش است که ریزم به کام خیش گرداب می رو باید و آبم نمی برد. من با سمند سرکش و جادویی شراب تا بیکران عالم پندار رفتم تا دشت پر ستاره اندیشه های گرم تا مرز ناشناخته مرگ و زندگی تا کوچه باغ خاطره های گریز پا تا شهر یادها دیگر شراب هم جز تا کنار بستر خوابم نمی برد هان ای اقاب عشق از اوج قله های محالود دور دست پرواز کن به دشت غمانگیز عمر من آنجا به بر مرا که شرابم نمیبرد آن بی ستارم که عقابم نمیبرد در راه زندگی با این همه تلاش و تمنا و تشنگی با اینکه ناله میکشم از دل که آب آب دیگر فریب هم به سرابم نمی برد پر کن پیاله را پر کن پیاله را Fill this cup. For it has been a long time since this fiery water has remedied my miserable mood. These goblets, emptied one after the other, are oceans of fire that I pour down my throat. While whirlpools lure me, currents don't take me away. Riding... On this magical nectar's wild bay, I've traveled the vast realm of the mind. I've gone to the starry fields of sincere thoughts, to the unknown line between life and death, to the tree-covered alleyways of fleeting memories, to the city of remembrances. Even wine no longer takes me beyond my bedside. So here it is. Eagle of futile magic. Mountains fly here to the gloomy grassland of my life. Come and deliver me where this wine no longer takes me. That I'm an ill-starred man whom even the eagle won't carry away. In the road of life, With all its struggles, pleadings and thirst, even when I moan from deep in my heart, water, water, even deceit no longer takes me to a mirage. Fill this cup. The 
sounds really. I like the translation. Actually, I yeah. really like it. Yeah, it was beautiful. maybe you just like the performance or the performer. Um, what did you? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> no, I was just kidding. <laughs> I was saying maybe just like the performance and the performance. Oh, okay. Right? Yes, yeah. for sure. For sure, you're doing really good. I love the way you're sharing poems. And well, the thing that yeah, really struck sure. me is I, I, just reading at that time, I felt like I really understood it. You know, he, he's saying that, you know, wine here is not doing what it used to, you know, and he needs love to take him to that place. And uh, then he's saying, so, you know, even... Uh, even deceit no longer takes me to the mirage. So, yeah, for exactly. me that's a beautiful line. I love that idea. You yeah, know, it's so, so beautiful. I mm. love it. This is a this is a famous one of. Feridun Moshiri is ninety twenty six. Oh. And two thousand. Oh, he died in two thousand. Yeah, he oh. passed away in two thousand, and in, I think he was seventy something years old. So he had a good life, I think, and mm. he was so proactive. And yeah, you know, right. he grew up in a really like the family, like encouraging and love poetry and mm. even mm. painting, I think. And mm. he start um, writing poem when he was really young, actually. So. The good thing about his poems, which I like, because he's the guy, he tried like classic poetry as well as um, contemporary ones. So the modern poetry and the classic one in the same time. And in this particular poem we shared, you know, for non-speak, uh, non-Farsi speakers, like it still has kind of um, rhyme and melody in it, which is like it comes from the classic poetry, classic Iranian poetry, and he does mix it together, uh, and that's the thing I really like about his work, particularly in this beautiful poem. Hmm. I think we're sort of done. We just wanted to share two poems, just really even to get back into it. So life's been like pretty full on for both of us at the start of this year, moved into a new house, which was massive and exhausting. And we've both gone to university, you know, and uh, so I'm studying full-time Bachelor of Counselling and you're doing your Masters of Fine Arts. So um, so it, it has been a real challenge just to get back into things. But um, how, how, I don't know, are we going to try and do this how often? Uh, we haven't really talked about it. We that. always, when we do it, we love mm. it. Yeah. Like the moment we do it, we really love it. That's and, right. But just but get, the getting preparation to it. and stuff, it depends. Uh, mm. You know, if we see, like, people really like it, why not? Mm. We do it. Like, yeah. we have audience for this live event yeah. because it sounds really easy but it's not that easy yeah um just I making mean, time for it translating. yeah making time preparation if yeah. like put the yeah. clothes on and <laughs> yeah, yeah. actually that's the best part i love it because i can't just yeah you, be fancy you have an excuse and, to yeah. dress up like exactly. hey we can dress up. up and it's so hot and what i'm wearing and what <laughs> i know wearing. i can't wait to take this you got off. to just be pretty <laughs> yeah it's well, like but here it is like we're early april and it's like middle of summer we are here from Bayswater. <laughs> oh, oh, that was Aussie. Wow. <laughs> from Bayswater. Yeah. Here we are in Bayswater where there's no bay and no water. And, um, <laughs> yeah. It's... And Tuka was so excited to be moving to Bayswater because oh, he was thinking it's full of water. All oh, right. He's like, oh, no. And, you know, if you think you have any friends that you think might enjoy this, make sure you tell them and pass on the links and both of the Facebook page and the podcast. I think that's all I want to say. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching us. Mm. And this is the Persian and the poet. Cheers. Cheers. Have a great night. (laughs) Have a good day. Have a good time. All right. Bye, lovely people. Good night.